Let's take a look at the 45th General Conference Session, which began 77 years ago this week on June 5th and ran a little past this week until June 15th, 1946. J. Lamar McElhaney, the General Conference President, opened the session with an address, and E.D. Dick, the Secretary, shared greetings from all sorts of people, including from those delegates unable to attend due to the recent World War. The session also featured speakers for morning devotionals and Friday evening sermons. Speakers such as McElhaney, F.M. Wilcox, A.V. Olson, M.L. Andreasen, W.G.C. Murdoch, H.M. Sparrow, and D.E. Reebok. Former G.C. Secretary and President William A. Spicer even offered a prayer at the end of the First Sabbath church service. Church workers from around the world shared what had happened during the previous five years in their fields of labor in afternoon and evening reports and in two mission symposiums held on the Sabbath afternoons of the session. Attendees to these meetings heard stories in languages such as English, French, Spanish, Arabic, and Chinese, and from such figures as L.G. Mukherjee, E.B. Rudge, R.E. Hare, and Bashir Hasso. Many of the stories they had to tell were of danger, hardship, and violence that they had experienced throughout the world as a result of the war. Speaking of horrors they had seen and gone through in specific detail, some, like Olga Oss, had suffered in an internment camp. Others, like those who had come to the session from England, France, the Middle East, and Japan, had seen the devastation wrought by bombs on city and countryside alike. They had, as often as they could, taken their circumstances as opportunities to serve God as best they could, and some reported of mission sustained and progress made, even in the face of terrifying events. One might think, the session having happened so long ago, that we would not be able to get a taste of what the 45th General Conference session was like, except through the partial transcripts which appear in the review. But some of the items in the General Conference archives are recordings from that session. We think they may have been recorded by Lester Post, who was the sound engineer for the session. You can see him here with his equipment in a photo published in the review shortly after the session concluded. The business meetings don't appear to have been recorded, and the recordings are not perfect. There are some static in spots and some places where what was being said was not captured by the recording devices. Still, the General Conference archives recently had these recordings digitized. We turned the recordings for each program into an MP3 file, and we've put them in the online archives. You can find these recordings under Audio from General Conference Sessions at documents.adventistarchives.org slash audio. What this means is that you can actually listen to some of the events from this week in Adventist history, 77 years after it happened, and hear figures from Adventist history tell their stories themselves. Their stories and their voices come from this week in Adventist history. <laughs> 